See, see, there are some people that's waiting on the dead to tell them something. Now, one of the reasons I'm saying this, because a lot of people wear tattoos. Tattoos signify marking of the dead. And a lot of people rather hear the dead than hear the living. But the dead don't know nothing. But the dead is dead. The only person that came back to tell us something about the dead was Jesus Christ. The Bible says Jesus Christ become the, the first begotten of the dead. And I don't know why people are fascinated of hearing the dead. That's why a lot of people are witches. Because witches think that they can speak to the dead. In reality, they are not speaking to the dead. They are speaking to the they are speaking to demons. See, demons knows about you when you was living. And that's why uh, uh, familiar spirit are very popular in our land because people speak to the dead. And the reason why I speak to the dead, right? You speak to the demons right there speak to the dead. Now, go to a psychic hotline. A psychic hotline don't speak to your, your dead relative. They talk to you, they talk to demons that sound like which is familiar spirits. Are you listening to me? I'm talking why people are fascinated with the dead. And the reason why I say fascinated because people tattoo themselves. People do uh, necromancy. People uh, like the movie Black Panther, how the man, uh, uh, Matanda, was talking to his dead father and his dead father was relating to him. So people are fascinated by the dead. Now, if you have a tattoo on your body, you are fascinated of the dead because the Bible says it's a marking of the dead. It's a marking of the dead. A lot of people worship the dead. A lot of people talk to the dead. If you go to a funeral, if you go to a cemetery and you bring flowers and you spend at least 45 minutes talking to a tomb, talking to a dirt. You're not talking to your parents. You're not talking to your loved one. You are talking to a dead that cannot answer you. So why are people are fascinated with the dead? Because the dead don't know nothing. And I'll put a scripture on my prescription of showing you that the dead don't know nothing. See, that's why I don't celebrate birthdays. Because to be dead is more excited than being born. Yes, it is, my friend. Because when you're born, you're born into trouble. You're born into pain. You're born into confusion unless you are born again. So why people are fascinated of the dead? Because people are ignorant of the dead. People are still worshiping dead Michael. It's Michael Jackson. They play, when I was working at Amazon, that's all these people would play is Michael Jackson. They would play Prince. They would play Whitney Houston. These folks are dead. Why people are fascinated by the dead. And I'm going to tell you, my friend, the dead is dead and gone. You ought to be living. I've just seen uh, on this little skip of this lady, this judge. I think she's a judge of divorce court. She lost her husband. And these things have happened in her house. And she she think her husband that's dead. Irresponsible for all these things that are happening in her house. My sister, example. She lost her husband. And she think that her husband come back to haunt her. No, my friend, these are these are called familiar spirits. These are these are demons that come back to haunt people. And we think it's our loved one. It is not our loved one, my friend. It is demon, demonic forces that 
don't have a body but try, trying to traumatize us. So why people are fascinated of the dead? Because people are ignorant. Yes, they're ignorant of the dead. What do you think, and I'm back to tattoo, why do you think people tattoo their body? They tattoo their body because they think it's cute. They tattoo their body because they think it's fascinating. They tattoo their body because they're ignorant. They tattoo their body because they're stupid. Why contaminate your blood? I don't care if it's organic. I don't care if it's, 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 it's clean blood, my friend. You are, you are contaminating your blood. You are marking your blood. You are poisoning your blood. The Bible says there's life in the blood. And see, tattoo was, was only made for slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tattoo was made for animals, not humans, because our body was not made for marking. We're not no walking billboards. We're not no walking uh, talk show. That was what the Bible said, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy to God, with your reasonable service, be that conform to this world, but be transformed by the, by the, the of your mind. See the devil, see the devil know that he don't want you to get this message. But why people are fascinated by the dead. They mark their body like the dead. They 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 do they, they go to the, they go to the cemetery and they spend hours talking to the dead. When they lost they when they lose their loved one, they, they think their loved one come back and haunt them and they're talking to the dead. My friend, Jesus was the only one that come back. Amen. And tell you that he's the first begotten of the dead. Now the, 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 the rich man, he told Father Abraham to send somebody from the dead to warn, to warn them so they won't come to this place of torment. But Father Abraham said, they have Moses and the prophet. Let them hear them. It be persuaded one rose from the dead. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. But they don't believe him. What do you think Easter is a mockery towards sinners? Yes, Easter was not about an Easter bunny. He made Easter egg or Easter cheese or Easter bun. But Easter was, was meant Passover. Easter mean the resurrection. Amen. Jesus Christ was a was a resurrection. That's why when I say resurrection, we'll have a resurrection life. Resurrection life is a saved life, a new life. A life transformed to this world. Not from this world, but a world to come, which is the heavenly. Wake up, people, and stop being fascinated of the dead.